For the second straight week, BYU put in a little overtime. And for the second straight week, it paid off. The Cougars, big underdogs to the 24th ranked USC Trojans, pulled off the upset in a wild game down in Provo. BYU coming out pumped for it, just its third game ever against USC, but the Trojans strike first. Keaton Slovis to Michael Pittman Jr. for the eight yard touchdown, seven zip. USC. Cougars tied up. Dylan Glenwallico. With the uh, playing some offense today, he scores from a yard out, 7-7. BYU defense coming up big today. Another turnover by that Cougar defense. Isaiah Kafusi comes up with a pick. This is going to set up a field goal to make it 10-7 BYU. It's 10-10 when Zach Wilson drops the perfect pass into the arms of Dax Milne. 30 yards, touchdown strike, 17-10 BYU. But the Trojans tie up the game just before the end of the half. As Bobby Malapie scores from five yards out, we're tied at 17 at the break. Second half, USC takes the lead. Slovis hits Pittman again. He was actually pushed out of bounds, came back in. They ruled it a touchdown, and it stood 24-17 Trojans. It was 24-20 fourth quarter when Wilson keeps it himself. Goes 16 yards right up the gut. Touchdown. BYU up by three, 27-24. But with just over a minute left in the game, Chase McGrath with the clutch. 52 yard field goal. We're going to overtime, tied at 27. After BYU kicked a field goal, USC had the ball. The pass is going to be tipped and then picked by Guamalaku. Game over. The crowd rushes the field. BYU beats a ranked team for the first time at home in four years. 30 27 is your final. Dana Green was there and has our post game report. Another overtime thriller for BYU. <laughs> I was just running to the ball, like the linebacker Vikan, and they made the play, and I seen the ball pop up, and like coach always said, tips and overthrows, we got to get them. It was just like an exciting moment, just I don't know what even thing I got trampled, and I seen fans. I I don't know how they got on the field so fast. I was like, who are you? You know. How to, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I was when the crowd rushed the field, I was jumping up and down. I just tried to grab one person. I said, what happened? <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I would cheer for, but something happened. So. I was just happy. I was actually getting like destroyed by the fans. I was taking some harder hits in there than I was in the game. So um, I tried to get out of there pretty quick. But and, I mean, this is such a big win for us. You know, it's it's like I always say, it's easy to it's easy to go into Monday learning off of a win, right? I mean, we still got so many things we got to get better on, but the fact that we got a win is huge. It was a lot of fun. I just obviously we don't want to get have this be a habit, but I'll take it if we feel good we we worked on this these situations um, a lot in camp and spring ball and i thought offensively we were able to use all our weapons you know you saw a lot of guys make plays and defensively we were able to rely on our depth we play good away in big, like big games like tennessee like that but it's obviously seeing this environment at home it's just it's crazy seeing our fans happy, seeing them rush the field. That's what, like, that's what we live for. We want to win in front of them. That was crazy. I never been a part of anything like it. So no matter the score, no matter uh, the time that's left on the clock, um, this team just keeps fighting and keeps fighting. And um, it's just, it's just, uh, it's great just to be a part of a team like this. So that's two big name schools BYU is beaten, and they'll get a chance at a third next week as Washington comes to town. I don't know if Cougar fans can handle any more excitement. At Lavelle Edwards Stadium, Dana Green, ABC4 Sports.